A Christian is someone who is lifting the load with God. I am a Christian. If I carry this, if I carry this, God is carrying it. Because his strength is my strength. His ability is my ability. Everything about me is everything about God. In him I move, in him I walk, in him I laugh, in him I greet. Good morning. That is a Christian. Yes, sir. A Christian is someone who is facing persecution, trial with the Lord. Good morning viewers around the world okay. and happy Sunday. We're happy to be in the studio this morning with Prophet TB Joshua. Okay, thank you. Good morning. I win today. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. We had a wonderful response from the message last week okay. um, where you spoke about what it means to be a Christian. And we've received actually hundreds of emails from viewers who had questions regarding that topic. If we could ask you a few of those questions. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, the, the first question. Um, good morning and win today. I have had some questions for such a long time in my heart. What can you say about a Christian and sin or mistake? Why the question on sin mm -hmm. again? Mm -hmm. Why I want to believe that my people are getting very serious. Yes, sir. Mm, that is a good step. Yes. You begin to think of sin, 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 sin. It means you are getting tired. Yes. Mm -hmm. They're getting tired. I want to believe that my people are really serious. Read. You want to be read, that's right. Always talking about sin, sin, which is good. It's a good thing. Where? It is only this miss of what my people want to do, it's not what they are doing now. What they want to eat is not what they are eating. What they want to say is not what they are saying. You know the situation around the world. Yeah. Yes, sir. Can we keep sinning and expect God's grace? Not okay. Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. Absolutely mm -hmm. not. Here we are. The devil is at work. Yeah. The devil wants us to curse God. Why? under pain, mm -hmm. why under trouble, hardship, he wants us to pass God. That is his aim. Those who bless God in trouble, in pain, prove their sonship. Mm -hmm. Prove their sonship. Viewers, I want to tell you that the lockdown will soon be over. Okay. I feel what you are feeling. Yeah. I know what you are going through. I know, I know, I know. Same power over you be broken Amen. in the name of Jesus. Same power over you be broken in the name of Jesus. Sin power over you be broken in the name of Jesus. Sin power over you be broken in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Back to your question. You are telling me about sin and Christianity. They are not one. They are not synonymous at all. They are two things entirely opposite. The book of First John. That will give us a very brief detail about this. The first John chapter one, verse eight. Yes. Okay, 
First John chapter one verse eight says, uh, "If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us." What? John wrote to the believers, advising them not to sin, but also warn them. If you say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. Take note of the word sin. It's in the singular, subjective of the sin nature. This means if you say we do not have that sin nature, I mean, our ability to sin, we deceive ourselves. This is what John is saying there. He further says in the next verse, First John chapter one verse ten. Yes. If we claim we have no sin, we make God a liar. Yes. And the truth is not in us. I mean, His word is not in us. If we claim we have no sin at all, committing act of sin, we are wrong. When you go down, God tells his children not to sin, but he knows they are likely to do so. Just like he says that in one of your message, that it takes the maturity that comes from faith to realize that our responsibility to God is a commitment and fellowship other than sacrifice. Thank if you. that is the case, sir, what is the remedy? Remedy? That's a solution. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Since our place is still there, and only the fellowship is broken. Run to God and not from Him. Run to God and confess your sin. And He is faithful and just to forgive. Amen. Thank you, sir, for this wisdom. Indeed, viewers, our earthly understanding must give way to spiritual enlightenment. Yes. Sir, you are saying that a Christian can make a mistake or commit an error, sir? Well, Nothing is too big for your salvation. Yes, sir. Well, a Christian can make a mistake because of their relationship mm -hmm. with God. They know they can immediately go to God over their sinful behavior. That is the meaning of relationship. That is what makes us different from others. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's just, I remember when you told us that sin can never be covered by our appearance, by our presence, by our prayers, by our tears. tears. It can only be removed by repentance. Yes. <laughs> but the question that I know viewers are asking then, who then is a Christian? <laughs> well, this is a good question. If I may come down to people level. Yes, sir. A Christian is someone who is working with the Lord. Mm -hmm. May allow me to stand up because yes, I'm sir. not yes, comfortable sir. here. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. A Christian is someone who is working with the Lord. Before you can work with the Lord, God's power must work through His Word and his spirit to give back to you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
God's power must work through his word and his spirit to give back to Christian. Wow. A Christian is someone who is lifting the load with God. I am a Christian. If I carry this, if I carry this, God is carrying it. Because his strength is my strength. His ability is my ability. Everything about me is everything about God. In him I move, in him I walk, in him I laugh, in him I greet. Good morning. That is a Christian. Yes, sir. A Christian is someone who is facing persecution, trial with the Lord. If you want to be a Christian, be a Christian. Not just a Christian by word, but a Christian by, by spirit. Holy spirit. spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Not only must we have God's word, in order to be a Christian, we must also have God's spirit. Yes, sir. If you claim you have God's word to be a Christian without God's spirit, the challenge before you, the situation before you, because it's a way of life, yes, that was yes, the challenge, it's a way of life. Persecution before you, it's a way of life, yes. that must be persecution, will overwhelm you, will overpower you, without the spirit. Yes, sir. It's not by power, it's not by, by power, my. It's not by might, it's not by, by might, might, by my spirit, says the Lord. Take note of that. They never say, by my word. Exactly. Yes, <laughs> they never say, by my word. They say, yes, by, my by my spirit. spirit. God is spirit and is worshiper. Must worship him in spirit, spirit and, and in truth. truth. Spirit and truth. Exactly. You see what is happening around today? You see how people run hectare, scatter, just because of this, because of that, because of virus. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fear of this, fear of that, yeah. everywhere. Yes, exactly. yes. Why? Because we are not born of the Spirit, yes. but they say we are Christian. Yes. Not only must we have God's word, in order to be a Christian, we must also have God's Spirit. That's the challenge that we are facing today. That is a challenge. Yes. That is also a challenge in the churches today. Yes. Yes. In, in the church of God, this is challenge we are having. Mm -hmm. This is enormous challenges. Yes. Mm -hmm. Speaking skill, ability to inspire. Mm -hmm. Any other question from mm -hmm. your period? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We do have some more questions, please. And this person says, um, there's yes, uh, in First John chapter three verse nine, mm -hmm. the Bible talks about sinless perfection. And I don't know if I can quickly read that passage quickly. Do everything you can do. <laughs> this person is saying that in First John chapter three verse nine, mm -hmm. that the Bible talks about sinless perfection. And I will read this Bible quickly. Those who have been born into God's family do not make a practice of sinning because God's life is in them. So they can't keep on sinning mm. because they are children. Take note of that. Mm. They can't keep on sinning. Sin. You can't keep on running. Yes, yes. Me, there is time to stop. Yes, yes. You can't keep on talking. Mm. Me, that will time you pause. Yes, sir. Right. You right. can't keep on looking. Try to understand your English. This is English language. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is English language. Yes. But uh, I say, not only must you have God's way, in order to be a Christian, you must also have God's spirit. Take note of that. We must examine what we read, because this Bible is not history. Yes, sir. When you are reading this Bible, you are reading the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. 
So when you are reading the Bible, you are reading the Holy Spirit, you must be carried along by the Holy Spirit. Hmm. Not just the grammar there, the grammar there. What the Bible is saying, the expression does not commit sin. Does not mean they do not sin. Does not commit sin, does not mean they do not sin. Take note of that. That is what they say there. What they are saying here. The Christian does not make sin his trademark. Does not make sin his business. Does not make sin his lifestyle. This is what they are saying. Wow. The Christian does not make sin his trademark. The Christian does not make sin his business, his lifestyle. The Christian does not live and walk in it. For his sin remain in him. Yes, sir. He see that is the faith. Yeah. I said last time that uh, our faith may fail, but not utterly. utterly. Yes, yes, sir. Our faith may fail, not oh, fall yes. off. Yes, this is what I'm saying. Try to understand. They're not. You're a graduate, you're a graduate, you're a graduate, you're a graduate. You're a graduate. I'm the only one that is not graduate. <laughs> I'm the only one that is not graduate here. But uh, I examine to you, graduate, you have given me the English grammar and. But I need to examine what you are saying. Yes, I'm, I'm not a graduate. That is why uh, I receive a lot of award, but I'm ashamed to attach it to my, to my name. Yes, because what, how, what will I tell the world? Uh, BSC, PhD, this is, this is, this is, this is, oh, no, I don't know. I'm, a, I'm, I'm shy. So this is just the issue. So any other mm. question? Uh, yes, uh, we do have one more one more question. We wanted to thank you for clarifying the issue to us on the issue of Christians and sin. As the, the Bible says that any time a Christian sins or attempts to do so, the Holy Spirit provokes their conscience, prompts their conscience. We thank you, sir. And, but another question the viewers asked is, what is the life of a Christian all about? Hmm. Good question. Say it again. What is the life of a Christian all about? Oh, well, the whole being of any Christian is built on faith and love. Wow. Faith brings the man to God. And love bring him to man. Because I don't want to start telling you, hey, faith is expecting Jesus to do this, to do that, to do this, to do that. No, 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 no. You have to be specific. And the viewers, try to understand what I'm saying. Our life is built, is built on faith and love. Simple. Faith brings the man to God. And love brings him to man. Thank you, sir, for this wisdom. Yes, sir. Okay, so yes. any other question? Yes, we just have, uh, I mean, we have many, sir, but we'll give you one more from, <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the questions, but I'll just pick one more from one of our viewers. So this person said that, man of God, I always watch Emmanuel TV from Canada, and I've heard you saying, the road to the kingdom of God is not a bed of roses. Mm -hmm. what, what can you explain further about this, sir? Well, it, it's not a bed of roses. You know what it means? Tongue, scorpion, just name every foolish thing. The kingdom requires us 
to be in the midst of our enemy. Mm -hmm. He who will not suffer this does not want to be of the kingdom of Christ. So I hope you are finished with your question. I think our viewers are. <laughs> I, th I, think our, I think our viewers, all these questions seem to point to me. There's a question viewer want to ask, and they're just dancing around, no. <laughs> dancing around, <laughs> dancing around, yeah. dancing around, dancing around, dancing around. I can to ask me, TB Joshua, we want to know if you do wrong. We want to know if you do wrong or make mistake. Well, capital yes. My mistake keep me looking deeper. Mistake taught me valuable lessons to pray more, dream of other ways that I might have ignored. This reminds me the case of Paul Apostle. This, this was his case to keep me humble. I was given a tongue in my flesh, a messenger of Satan. That is Paul. Sometimes what we see as a disadvantage may turn into an advantage. Uh, why me this? Why me that? Why me this? Why me that? Why me this? Why me that? If we receive so much comfort, shall we not receive some pain, some tribulation that will serve to check our comfort. Mm. That will serve to check our comfort. Mm. To pray them all. Yes. Fast them all. Increase our desire and our determination for God. As a Christian, what we see as error, as a big mistake, God may sometimes allow it as a trial. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's, very it's, revelation. it's real food for thought. Yes. For our you will only know the value of yeah. that comfort when you face that situation, that challenge. Yeah. <laughs> okay, any other question? You have answered uh, so many of our viewers' questions. A lot of the questions they said had been burdening their hearts. Mm. So I'm sure they'll be very happy, sir. Thank you, sir.